Since the conflict in Syria started almost two years ago, 700,000 refugees have flowed over its borders into surrounding countries. The largest number are here in Turkey, which now boasts over 150,000 of them living officially in camps. Many thousands more are staying with relatives or simply fending for themselves. This is the one of the main border crossings that Syrian refugees use. They come through it and they get registered and taken to camps, or they go around it illegally and just come into Turkey and try to, to make their way. And more, like this man, keep coming every day, fleeing the violence. When they attacked with barrel bombs, even three- or four-story buildings were flattened to the ground. People were hiding under the ground, but the bombs even reached them there. Despite millions of dollars in aid, the conditions these families face are severe, especially now that winter has hit. Turkey's Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan was supposed to make a visit here at the Islahiye refugee camp, but he never showed up. That was a disappointment for the, many of these refugees here. Uh, although they did tell us we managed to talk to a few of them, uh, mostly through the fence here. We were not allowed to actually go into the camp. But uh, they did tell us that they've had their tents refurbished in recent weeks and that uh, most of the tents, if not all of them, now have heaters. In many cases, the families have taken up semi-permanent residency in the camps while the adult men and even teenage boys go back and forth to fight in the insurgency boiling across the border. I came here to visit my family. My family has been here for nine months. I come here to see them as much as I can, and then I go back to prepare for possible attacks by the regime. As the conflict stretches towards its third year, Syrian families are slowly building new lives here in Turkey. These 800 lucky kids attend a Syrian school in Turkey near the border. 2,000 more are on the waiting list to get in. The students' drawings clearly show they haven't left the conflict behind. Other refugees are trying to get jobs, or they're even starting businesses. In order not to ask people for help, we open this shop. Fowl, hummus, falafel, these sorts of popular dishes. Syrian people like these dishes a lot. At the same time, it's cheap compared with the prices for food in Turkey. Like Mr. al Ahmed, many here are essentially starting their lives all over again, and few think they'll have the opportunity to go home anytime soon. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Bill Spindle reporting from the Turkish-Syrian border.